guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video to see this lovely chair that we are about to make right now so the first thing is first is you want to go ahead and grab a enter two i believe this is a, a one inch foam from joanne's fabric that i got and it also was on sale so that was perfect uh, no coupon was needed but if there's a 20 percent off coupon you guys can go ahead and use that as well to make this very price savvy so I did see these chairs on Amazon on eBay and different things like that but I was kind of in a rush and the shipping wasn't fast enough and I also wanted to see if I could get it to be the measurements that I desired to it to be with the covering that I wanted it to be so what you guys see me doing now is going ahead and cutting out the measurements that I will be sharing with you on the stream now this is me putting it together and seeing if it fits well and using pin cushions just to temporarily secure it to make sure that it is lined up well. After I made sure that it was lined up well, I went ahead to do the cushion that's on the inside. If you guys want to go ahead and skip the cushion part, you guys could use something stronger or you guys can use a pillow. Just make sure that whatever it is is safe for a newborn to go on because you don't want to have the risk of sits while the baby's sleeping during photography or sinking into the pillow. So I'm going to be doing this foam three stacks high to make sure that it is high enough for me to see baby over the front of the chair and to make sure that it is nice and firm. So now that I have all of my firmness, I have my height and I have my measurements put together, I'm going to go ahead and try it out. I let my daughter sit on the chair to see if she likes it because she loves little chairs and she absolutely loved it. She accidentally kicked off the front, but that's okay. And she gave mommy a high five. So I think I'm doing pretty good. It was time for me to move her off, but she was not ready to go. After a little help from daddy, we're back to the video. So I put a little teddy bear there just to see the measurement. You guys can see that a baby could fit on there very well. It's nice and long. If you wanted it to be shorter so the baby's head can go on the side of the chair, you could adjust your measurements accordingly. So this part is me basically covering those pieces of foam that I have for all of my front, back, side, and so on and so forth. This will be for my back. I'm going ahead and putting pin cushions around it just so that it'll be easier and stick together while I'm trying to sew them later on. I'm going to basically be repeating that. You see that I'm doing that to my back. <clears throat> and now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to my sides. After that's done, or did I save my size? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to my three cushions to make sure that they are covered well and that it's nice and soft for baby to lay on. You're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with your pin cushions, your pin cushions, with your pins, and now I'm doing my sides. Once you have that all figured out and all of your pieces pinned and put to the side, you want to go ahead and get ready to sew. I cleaned up my area and grabbed my sewing machine. Now, the way that I will be doing this is pretty much like a pillowcase where all three sides are sealed and you have one side open for you to easily put on and take off that fabric. If you guys want to, you can decide to use Velcro or button or any method that you want to seal it, but you want to make sure that this is able to come off and able to be washed in the washing machine when you're dealing with babies and newborns or even pets so uh as you guys see i go ahead i pin around it and i take it inside out and i put it next to the foam after i put it next to the foam inside out i flip it right over and it fits perfectly with no issues and it's easy to go on I'm going to continue to repeat my sew and flip over method until all my pieces are covered and I make sure that I'm comfortable with the way that it looks. The sewing machine that I'm using is the Brother Sewing Machine. I believe it's the LX30 something. I'll always have it in the description when I'm using it. So you will find my sewing machine and anything else that I use on this project that I can have on uh, Amazon in the description. Same thing, I went ahead and I did my sew and flip method and that's all of my pieces. And I'm just testing it out to make sure it looks good and I love it. Now I was trying to figure out how exactly I'm gonna have all these pieces come together and I figured out the best method would be to 
sew it side by side. So I took my back and I pushed two sides together and I sewed it and I continued that all the way around until I have kind of like a, a rectangle circle shape with all of them together. You guys will see exactly what I mean in a second. So now that I'm done, all of my pieces are together and it, it created a circle. So I can easily take it on and take it off with it sticking together. And that's pretty much it. I made it very easy, very simple for you guys. And here are the pictures to follow.